Hey guys, what's going on? It's Canadian Scale Modeler here, and thought I'd just do a little update video. Um, I finished this 57 Chef step side a little while ago. I have a new build I'm going to show you guys, and I actually recently moved to another province, so I actually have a new hobby room set up. Um, it doesn't look much different than my other one, but uh, I'll give you guys a quick little tour of that. I still have a few more things to hang up, like my TV and stuff, but I need to get some wall anchors and some stuff. So, But other than that, the room's functional, it's ready to go. And uh, yeah, so anyways, first off, this is the latest build. It's AMT's 57 Chevy Stepside. Uh, as you guys, or if you guys watch my other videos, um, I have shown this truck in uh, one or two other videos. Um, and I finally finished it. I lost motivation on it because it's an older kit and like it just, you know, or something that I wasn't happy with. But I mean, I knew going into it that this is a kit that was designed in like 1988 or the early 90s. So it's definitely going to show its age and that's okay. I built the Cameo version of this kit like years ago uh, when I was growing up and uh, it's long gone now. But um, some of the other pieces live on in some other models I've, I've built, but anyways, I wanted to rebuild this kit again, um, and kind of, a lot of people complain about the fitment, and like, the detail, and like, all this stuff on this kit, so I just really wanted to set out and make a really nice example of this model. So that's what I think I accomplished, um, other than that, so that's what it's supposed to look like on the box, street machine kind of style. A small block in an aftermarket, you know, air cleaner valve covers. It's got the quite a bit of rake low in the front, stock height in the rear, or probably not stock, but higher in the rear. So, anyways, that's that. That's what it's supposed to look like, and this is my version. So, I'll bring this thing a little closer. First things first, paint is Tamiya. Uh, I think it's coral blue, I, I, I think, I forget exactly, I ran out of paint, um, with a pearl white uh, automotive color. It's actually a uh, water-based uh, base coat off a real car. Um, I don't know the brand or anything, but it is a pearl white, as you can see. Anyways, um, I actually two-toned it. Back up there. Or all the way around it's kind of a different two-tone but I was I wanted to two-tone it but I wasn't sure where so anyways I two-toned it around there so there's a thin strip of turquoise and then the white the two whites dividing it so anyways so that's that it's got Tamiya clear so Tamiya paint on the bottom Tamiya clear on top um, the truck's got Pegasus wheels I forget the names of them but they're Pegasus wheels I had wide whites with chrome like steelies and hubcaps, but I wasn't feeling it, and it was way higher than this. Um, I actually slammed the heck out of this, so it's sitting on the leaf springs, but the detail in this kit on the bottom is not, it, there's no detail, like the floor's open, like it's just not very detailed. So I didn't bother detail on the bottom of this model, plus I was getting burnt out on it, so I was like, you know what, let's just build a nice top only, you know, nice model. You can't see the bottom in real life anyways. So, anyways, um, the tailgate's detailed. I hand-painted the lettering on there. Uh, it's got a Florida license plate because I thought, you know, having a truck like this in Florida would be awesome. Um, the truck bed is just a couple different colors of, uh, oh, there goes the hood. A couple different colors of military, like wood, and, or military colors, like I don't even know what you call them anyways. A couple different browns and dry brushed and clear coated over. Um, the interior is pretty basic. I left it basic. It's just blue dash, steering wheels detailed, white seat, you know, it's basic. Um, this actually has the cab visor from the AMT Cameo pickup. Uh, I thought it would really finish this build off nicely and the gap on the windshield was really bad up here So that's one of the things about this kit. That's really bad is the way the windshield fits It's almost like the windshield's too small for the cab, but with the visor that helps cover up that So on this build I wanted to do something different. So I ended up using a straight six in it instead of the small block um, The straight six is from the AMT 60 Chevy pickup and it's just box stock. I just 
uh, added plug wires and uh, just weathered it up a little tiny bit, but not too much to it. Anyways, yeah, so that's that. Other than that, that's that's it for this one. Another one's done. Um, actually, I'll leave it off for now. So now, actually, no, I'll put that back on. On to the next build, which is just one second. I just started this one before I moved. I'm on a Chevy truck kick right now. So it's the AMT, or AMT, geez, bleh, no, Ravel 76 Chevy Sport uh, step side pickup. Uh, and I have a, I have an, I know how I'm going to build this one. Um, it's going to be close to the box there, but a different color. But I actually ordered some aftermarket goodies for this, this one. Because the kit wheels just weren't doing it for me. They just, just didn't look, look right to me. So, anyways, that's the current bot or build. And this is what I have so far on this build. So, uh, first off, the wheels are from Fireball Model Works. Uh, they are resin, and they are absolutely beautiful. Um, they come as bare, bare resin wheels with uh, resin rubber tires, and I detailed them all up. They also come with the decals for the 4x4 hubs. Um, they're beautiful wheels. Like, I, I, I love them. They're, they're great. They're going to make the model. And, um, I'm going to have to order a few more sets. I do have another set of rims, two-wheel drive rims for um, a two-wheel drive build, square body build someday. Um, don't know when or how, but anyways, I did order some other stuff from him when I ordered these, and I can't wait to use them. Uh, this kit's very basic, a lot like that kit, but I wanted to add more detail to this. Oh, look, some of this stuff's falling off. Um, anyways, quick mock-up of some parts box stuff that I had. I'm going to fill the, the square hole in the firewall. Um, underneath, I actually added or finished off the cab floor. Um, still needs to be smoothed out and stuff, but... Oh, jeez, almost dropped it. But this stuff was all open, and it looked really bad, so at least open or close up some of it. So when I look underneath the model, I really want to detail this truck out. It looks, you know, somewhat presentable anyway. So, other than that, I haven't done much to this thing. I just really detailed the rims and tires, painted the chassis black, and uh, started the fixing some of the gaps and stuff on the chassis or on the body, and then I had to move. So, anyways, that's the current build. Um, the color I'll leave uh, undisclosed right now, unless you follow my Instagram. I will eventually, once I get it painted, post on there first. Um, but if you don't, you'll find out in the next video I do of this truck, which will probably be the finished video. It's going to be a while, but hey, it is what it is. So anyways, that's the current build and the latest finished build. So after the square body, I don't know what I'm going to build, but it sh should not be a Chev and it should not be a pickup, but we'll see. But anyways, speaking of that, um... I got the new model room all done today. Well, almost done. Put that up there. Um, and I am stoked to get back to building. I will say that it's been a very stressful month, and uh, but everything's finally coming together. And uh, anyway, so first we'll start off with, this is the bench. This is the main area here. Um, here I have my drawer, which the bottom's falling out of it. But this is my drawer with all my paints, um, my decals, set solutions, my uh, my glues, my toothpicks. I've got paint brushes. It's a little misorganized, but I know where everything's at. I got putties. I got epoxy put or milliput and epoxy putties all back there. I got tapes. Um, everything I need is basically is in this drawer quick access except for some stuff that won't fit i've got my polishes and waxes there i've got some glues more toothpicks there's some actual auto body filler back there some clear clear uh glue there um and then i got up here i got my polishing pads and there's some dusters and stuff back there um we got 
Pegasus wheels here. These are all different Pegasus wheels. I'm glad I can have them on stock. There's a resin engine I casted actually, which I need to get back into, but eventually. Um, I got some of my tr my trophies here. All my medals hang here, and there's a lot of them. Um, we got a couple more plaques there. This is just some of my die cast. I don't have a lot of it, but I do enjoy trucks, as you guys can tell. So I kind of have some of my favorite. Uh, oh, the cyclones on a on a roll. Some of my favorite die cast here, which again, cyclone S tens, they're my favorite. Got my clock. Got another picture here. Um, just you know, just another picture. This banner is probably my favorite thing I have. I ordered this, and as you all know, like I just said, I'm a huge S10 guy. And uh, so I got that up. Got the actual plate off my truck. A couple random things. We got more die cast here. I want to put my TV right here on the wall, but I need anchors so I can swing the TV out this way and watch it while I'm, I'm at the bench. But that'll come. Uh, we got over here the paint booth. Oh, geez. Oops. Anyways, we got the paint booth. Uh, it's up and running. I just need to get a new filter for it again. And uh, other than that, it's good to go. I need to do something with these kits. They're just holding the bottom of the spray booth up right now. That's okay. I got my airbrush compressor, all that. These are parts bins. I got Those are all built-up models I bought that I will eventually do something with. So now we're going to go over to the kits. So I'm just going to do a quick, um, quick swipe through of all the kits. And I had them both, had all these kits in two separate spots in the old place, so it didn't look like as many kits. But like now, I'm like, oh my god, I have a lot of kits. <laughs> um, but it's what it is. So that's that. This is my truck slash SUV shelf. I try to organize everything somewhat. Um, again, S10s, old body style trucks, or S10s, trucks, 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 that's, I mm, love them. So anyways, that's all the kits, and then over here, I have the displays, with everything that's been completed so far. And everything made it except for one mirror got knocked off the Hummer that I built, which no big deal. So that was absolutely awesome. So anyways, you guys have seen all these builds for the most part anyways. And then I have a storage closet here that I'm still going through. I'm actually going to close that now. Yeah, so other than that, I'm just going to zoom out real quick and do kind of a wide angle. That's the room. This is where... I build my models. This is the new place. Um, I'd like to get more Hot Wheels up on the wall and stuff eventually, but right now, the room's functional and uh, I'm ready to build. So, anyways, guys, that's about it. The video's a little longer than I like it to be, but uh, I had a lot of stuff to show. I hope you enjoyed the 57. Looks came out awesome i love it and uh, i'm really digging this chevy i'm gonna give you a hint on the color it's gonna be bright um and it's gonna look good it's gonna have the white stripes like the box uh anyways so it's gonna be cool and the tires and the wheels and tires make it pop so till next time guys thanks for watching and i'll see you later